Registration for the DPP's presidential primary closed on Friday, with President Vice President Lai Qingde as the only registrant in the race. Though he won't officially become the party's presidential nominee until April 12th, the DPP has already entered campaign mode. The DPP headquarters on Friday held a meeting between lawmakers and presidential office personnel to discuss ways to tackle cognitive warfare attacks from China and rival parties. Let's hear their thoughts. The more important thing is our future policies. I hope we can all use our little gray cells to come up with ways to convey them in simple terms that everyone can easily understand. We hope to launch a united attack, be it in engaging in policy debate, defending our position on certain issues, preventing smear campaigns, and fighting against cognitive warfare attacks. We all have an important role to play. Especially on some important issues, we shouldn't let them just be carried away by certain narratives. There are also some issues that we can lead the discussion on. Many of the party members in attendance are frequent guests on political talk shows. The DPP urged its elected representatives to further promote the DPP's policies through short videos online. The party officials formed a group chat online to coordinate upcoming campaigns.